Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on the thumbnail and I appreciate lots of people are commenting on my previous vlogs. I'm trying to answer those comments, whatever queries they have. Today's vlog is entirely regarding one of my favorite brands, which is OnePlus and OnePlus have released their Android 10 official update. This is not a beta version for all of the devices, right from the old generation of OnePlus 660, right to the 7 Pro, everybody, every device, have started receiving this update through the OnePlus updater, which is the default updater in the setting apps under the section of software update. But just in case, if you have not got that update, just wait for it, it will come. Or else there is a third party method to update your device. So I'll be showing you that procedure in this vlog itself. So stay tuned. And I'm also trying to explain what all change logs and what all exciting features are there in Android 10 upgrade. So you will be definitely seeing that in this vlog and you will be actually excited as I am excited to use this Android 10 on my device. So personally love the dark mode because it has certain benefits on your phone's battery. Uh, it consumes less amount of battery rather than putting your phone on the light mode. If it is on the dark mode, the screen actually consumes less battery because of the dark real estate on the screen. So I am actually excited for that feature. So let's see how the upgrade turns out and I'll be showing you all the procedures and all the change logs. So stay tuned. Let's go. Let's begin. Without further ado, let's start. So guys, how to get the Android 10 on your device? I'm just going to show you that initially. First, open the settings app, go to the bottom section. In that section, you can see there is a system section over here. You can just click on that and in the system go to system updates and see whether the device is presenting itself as a new update to you if there is a new update presented by oxygen os which is the oneplus default updater if there is an update present you can just go ahead and download the android 10 update of from here this section has been updated by oneplus company itself so if you are getting any updates on your phone you can check it whether you have it over here if in case you don't have an update over here what you can do is you can go back to the home screen go to the play store just click and find oxygen os update and this will be the app which is called as oxygen updater you just, just need to download this app and after you download this app this app will be present in the app drawer section or the home home section of your phone as you can see this is the app in the red color present over here when you click this app this app will check whether your phone is updated to android 10 if it is not in my case it is updated but if in your case it is not updated it will present itself to download a 1.7 gb file uh, which will be a zip file which will be doc downloaded to your local file manager so to check that you can just i'll just show it to you you can go into your local file manager and uh, you can go to the bottom and this is the file which I was talking about, which is a zip file of 1.66 GB, the last file over here. So this file needs to be present and downloaded. And after that, what you can do is that you can go into the settings apps once again and go into the same set system section over here. Go to the system update again. And here you will find a gear icon over here. You just need to click on that gear icon and there will be an option called as local upgrade. Uh, when, as you click on this local upgrade, the device will automatically detect that file which we have downloaded, the zip file. You need to just click on the zip file and the installation will begin, which is the Android installation. Then after the installation gets completed, the phone will present an option of rebooting the phone. You just need to click on that reboot option and once the phone gets rebooted, you will be into Android 10. So guys, this is my device, the OnePlus 6. So go, let's go inside the settings option on the bottom of this page you can see about phone section over here you can check this out this is the model a one plus a6000 this is the 8 gb 256 gb rom and the uh, snapdragon 845 and then official android build is showing over here it's android version 10 so let's go inside as you can check it over here this is android 10 let's go back mm -hmm. Uh, you can see the official build number is shown over here. It is of 2710-2019 and the security patch level is 1st October 2019. So this confirms that this device is running on official build of Android version 10. Uh, this is the official Android version 
as you can see uh, Android 10 version this is the notification area which I was talking about this is entirely in dark mode I have enabled the dark mode I have already updated my device to Android 10 this is the lock screen you can have a pattern over here and this is the face unlock feature which I have already enabled I have shown the device my face and I have set the parameters to unlock the device through my face so you can either put a pattern you can have a password pin or a face unlock set for the, your oneplus 6 device or the 60 device so going inside you have certain uh, upgradations in the settings option you can go and check the display option over here there are certain enhancements over here you, there is a video enhancer which is a new segment which is present and this segment as shown in the presentation over here, over here if you toggle this on the videos whichever you see on your device would be having a better dynamic range in that case you will be having a good color representation of that videos the color will enhance and you will be having a good experience of watching all the videos on your phone so i have personally like this option present in android 10 uh, moving back there is also a customization section offered over here in this case the always on display have certain new clock styles now available you can check it over here you can implement this and all these are live whenever you get a live notification you have to just lift up your phone and you will be seeing that live notification on your lock screen whatever notifications you get that will be in live mode on your lock screen present and also the time by default it will be present on your lock screen the representation of that is shown over here how it will look if you change the clock you can see over here it's this is the digital one this is the analog clock and this is the analog only clock without any notifications if you want that so i personally love this thing so i have implemented this apart from that if you can if you want to change the accent colors of your notification toggles you can or the all the all over the toggles which are there at present in android 10 you can change and have a granule control to change the color of the toggles so if i select a red over here and if i implement that the red color will be applied all over like you can see here the toggles are having a red color over the dark mode so that is really nice this gives a new feel to your device entirely apart from that you can have icons also these are the three sets of default icons which are given by oneplus if you want to download more icon packs you can go into the this option which is the more option this will take you to the play store to def, to download more icon packs which will be enhancing your phone further apart from this in the customization option you can also go into the font section over here there are two fonts as default present by oneplus i personally love the oneplus slate font and the second font is never set a robot font I personally love this so I have implemented this font and uh, you can also change the tone of your entire phone if you want a colorful light tone like that is the default dark settings if you want to shift that from the dark mode to the light mode with color you can have this colorful option or you can have an entirely light option or I personally love the dark option because that is a battery saver option so I personally like the entire phone in the dark mode so I have selected the dark mode these all things are present in the customization section apart from that there are certain health benefit modification done in android 10 as you can see the step counter section is added on to your home cascade section on the left side of your home screen this enables you to count steps day in day out overall whatever you've taken in your day period you can count those steps over here which is giving you health benefits in terms of how much activity you did you did in the previous day you can check that over here this is a new thing which has been added by oneplus which is really good uh, apart from that if you go into the launcher settings over here which is the home screen settings you have a new launcher layout over here this entire section is made new in android 10 here there are two options first option is the default which was present in android 9 also which is the home screen and the drawer settings in this case all the apps would be present in the app drawer which you can see over here this is showing the representation you have to pull the screen up from the bottom center and all the apps would be presented in the app drawer whichever apps are been downloaded on your phone in case of a new settings over here uh, in the launcher the, there is this option home screen only if you enable that the entire apps would be app list would be present without any drawer on your home screen entirely by default you have to select the apps there will be no app drawer entire presentation of the apps would be done on your home screen like in case of iphone the entire apps are present on the home screen itself so i personally don't like that option i like the app drawer so i've selected that but this is a new option which has been implemented in the android 10 version so going ahead 
apart from this there are certain gestures which has been added by oneplus so inside the settings section again you have to go into the gesture section over here which is the buttons and gesture section over here you have to just go over here and navigation bar gestures these are the gestures which are basically present on your home screen by which you interact with your phone by touching the surface which is at the bottom surface of the phone in that case now a new way of interacting is been added like it is shown over the presentation over here you can see by swiping it from left left and right edges of your phone you can go to the back that means the phone will take you one step back from whatever processes you were doing it will take you one step back and going further if you want to go to home directly you have to center swipe from the bottom bar or the bottom edge of the phone directly without any pause it will take you to the home section if you want to go to the recent app you have to just center swipe from the bottom section and pause it will take you to the recent app section and also in this case of new implementation if you want to swipe between the alternate apps you have to just uh, on this bottom bar over here present over here you have to just left or right swipe it will take you to the previous and the more previous app and you can return back to the app in which you were there present initially this swipe just swipe on the bottom bar and it will take you to the previous app section so this is really nice if you want to go to home you have to just center swipe and again i am back into the settings section and i'll be going back into that gesture section over here which is buttons and gestures and that option is present in navigation bar gesture over here apart from that all the other uh, bottom bar uh, which were there present on the initial android 9 version that is been still maintained in this section but this particular new method of swiping has been added so i just wanted to show you this apart from this there is one more feature which has been added which is in the sms section go into the settings of messages and these are the block settings which have been maintained over here you have to click on block settings and here you can block the messages now coming from by any person by giving a keyword if you want to receive no messages from any uh, name or any number you can add that as well but in case this is the new option of keyword if you want no messages coming from a brand you can just add that brand's name i'm just giving an example you can add that brand's name over here in the keyword section you have to press this add and you can add that name and an entire list of messages coming from that brand would be blocked so this is the idea how the keyword section works you can add any keyword and that keyword would be stored in the phone and any messages coming with that keyboard will be blocked entirely you will not be able to see that message and you will you will be not getting disturbed from that particular keyword of messages coming to you they are also concentrating on digital well-being so when you go in settings app you have to go in digital well-being and parental controls so here you can check all the data of how you have used your phone in past uh, 24 hours or whatever oh, as you have used the phone the the digital well being circle will show the individual app and you can check out how you have used your phone also you can have a do not disturb mode which is over here you can set the parameter of time and you can have a phone in completely do not disturb mode also there is a setting for parental control so this is very good for maintaining your health standards uh because lots of time people spend more time on phone and uh, that is actually hazardous for health so this is a good thing which has been incorporated in android 10 by oneplus in the benefit of good health one more good thing has been adopted in the benefit of human health by oneplus uh, this thing i have really loved it because i am using it personally there is a new toggle which has been included in the curtain down section here you can check there is a toggle called as zen mode so what what happens with this toggle is that whenever you click this you can set a desired parameter which is 20 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes or 60 minutes these are the parameters which are prefed into this app and what will happen is that your phone will entirely get into a cut mode that is it will be away from the network all sorts of network 4g wifi or the mobile network so that you can enjoy your life because there are much more better things in life than staying in your phone so you can go and concentrate on that things for this amount of time so this is really well thought by oneplus so that you can stay away from your phone and when this is implemented you have to just go in the drop down section over here and you have to just switch it on 
set the parameter and let's go so this entirely he it, it confirms the thing and when you can when, when you press the confirm button the phone will be completely cut off entire uh, number section is totally dark and i actually love this theme because this is a this has improved my battery a lot because the entire thing is in a dark mode so now moving back to the studio these were the upgrades which are possible by android 10 and this have actually happened and i am loving it so let's move back to the studio so guys as you've seen all the upgrades which are there in android 10 i've tried to show you show it to you and also the procedure how to upgrade it to android 10 your device which is from oneplus only in this case uh, the typical users which are using a verizon network on your oneplus devices or a verizon oneplus device don't try to update it through the software which is the oxygen updater just wait for the official update in your settings apps through the system update update the verizon device only through that because there are certain hardware issues which the devices are facing if they are trying to update it through oxygen updater so please hold on you will get the update through the settings app only then the upgrade your devices and also for the users who are running the beta 1 or beta 2 version which are not the official versions just go and factory default your phone to the factory uh, default settings and whatever android version that came to your phone that should be present and only then you can upgrade it to android 10 so please keep the, these two things in mind so that's it for today's vlog guys and i hope you like the video you know the regular drill if you like the video thumbs would be appreciated if you love the video subs would be appreciated so stay tuned for the coming vlogs have a nice day take care